Hi, welcome back to YGY Club's Essential Oils Workshop today. My name is Helen Watt. I'm a Senior Vice Chairman in Virginia, and we thank you so much for joining us on Periscope. Please share this with your friends so that they can join too. The recording will be up for 24 hours, and today's Essential Oils Workshop is focusing on the Aroma Share um, kit called How Dear to Your Heart. And it has two oils in this kit. It has um, Rose 10%, and it has Ylang Ylang, and it even came with a sample of um, an essential oil called All Heart, which is a new blend by Kent King. So you're gonna wanna put the Aroma Share Club in your auto ship, it's $50. And Carol, what did you say the deal was? I it's, think if you purchased it wholesale, it's $71, and that doesn't include the sample. Right, so what she's saying is if you bought this separately and this separately, you'd pay $71. But if you buy it as the Aroma Share Club, whether you buy it on auto ship or just order it, you'll get the two of them plus the sample plus the recipes. Um, you know, you can download them, but it's nice to have the printed copy of them. And that comes right to your door. It's excellent. The number is 67955. So again, the Aroma Share for this month is 67955. It's actually the same number every month. It just changes about the 27th. So as we're getting ready for our um, party, then you might, you might wanna look at some other things that you're gonna wanna serve at your Valentine party. So we are making fudge with dates. So these delicious medjool, how do you say, is that medjool mm -hmm. dates? Medjool. Mm -hmm. Super, super healthy for you. And so not only are they in our fudge, but I actually made them up as a little appetizer and that has a little piece of brie in there, a little bit of balsamic vinegar on top, and a delicious Marcona almonds. So I'm just gonna give these out to the girls. You guys Ooh. tell me what you think of these. Oh, thank you. Hi, Linda. We're enjoying you watching us, too. <laughs> and hi, Vicki. The mm. other healthy things that we've added on our little treat tray would be raw, whole cashews. And the reason these are delicious is because you can make your own cashew milk. And then, of course, because this is wine, chocolate, and mm. roses, then I also bought these delicious almonds that have a cocoa um, powder on them. So these are also um, healthy chocolate mm -hmm. delicious for you. So go ahead. What do you guys think of these little appetizers? Would this be fun? Look at really um, nice Leslie show the little tray of what we've done at our party and Look at, We're getting pampered you guys. You guys <laughs> should be here. Don't forget the wine or chocolate wine <laughs> and don't forget the roses So here's how you set up your Valentine special and then you could end your day with a rose milk bath. That recipe is also on here. And just really take care of yourself. This whole month in um, YGY Club, we're focusing on improving relationships. And what a fun time to have your girlfriends over and learn how to do this together. And next week, you're going to want to make sure that you check in with us. If you're local to Virginia, let me know if you can join us in person. So let's get back to making that fudge, OK? So what you wanna start with first is um, you wanna take a half a cup, well let's see, three-fourths of a cup of water and bring that to a boil. And then while that's boiling, I've taken my dates and I've just chopped them up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just cut them up into pieces. So three-fourths of a cup of dates. It's a little sticky. Little like sticky. raisins or something, yeah. Yep, a little sticky like raisins. And then I also am going to blend this with my butter. And again, this is that grass-fed organic butter by Kerry Gold. And I also went ahead and put the vanilla in there. The recipe actually says to add the vanilla um, with the dry ingredients, but in um, the, my years of baking, vanilla is better mixed with the wet stuff first. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna dump that in there. Okay, let me get a little spatula. Okay, perfect. And then as soon as our water goes to a boil, which it doesn't take three fourths of a cup that long to boil at all. Let me talk to you about a couple of the other ingredients. So I use a Himalayan pink salt. You can pick this up in the organic section of your store. I also use a um, sweet leaf organic stevia extract powder and then um, I was really uh, thankful that my mother-in-law gave me this vanilla, handmade vanilla extract, but you'll wanna make sure that you get a real vanilla extract if you um, go to do that. And then cocoa. 
So cocoa is what's gonna make our fudge chocolatey, right? So they sell two kinds. They sell the unsweetened milk chocolate cocoa and then they sell a dark chocolate cocoa. I made this recipe last night with the dark chocolate and it was really dark chocolate. Like it, I didn't like how that turned out. It didn't say which kind to use on the recipe. It just said cocoa powder. So I remade it again with the milk chocolate and I liked it better. So that's what I would um, suggest, but feel free to experiment. Maybe you even like it half and half. And, uh, hey, our water's almost at a boil. So while the water is waiting, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, get this started. Uh... Now what's interesting is, <laughs> I also made it last night in my Vitamix, but that was a little bit tricky because it just made it in the bottom part and it was a really thick chocolate. And so this time I've put it in my little um, blender and it worked much better. So let's see, our water is almost ready to go, and then we'll get that added in. So how are you guys doing with your chocolate? What are you doing for Valentine's Day? Let us know what you're trying or, or what you've um, found that you like. And did you guys eat this? Did you try it? I didn't try it yet. Okay. It's too pretty to eat. Ah. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. Is that with brie? Mm-hmm. Oh, that looks so good. Well, now it has red lipstick on it. Oh, yay. But and a marcona so, almond. I don't, mm -hmm. It's so mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our water is almost boiling, and you want that to boil so that it will help yes, break down the butter. Yes, right. So you can't really rush that process. They're so good. You should come here, Vicki. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so our water is going in. Oh, it goes in there. about this earlier. Do you guys see that I put my hand over it? This is a little vent hole. So um, what happens is if you put something really hot in a blender, it's going to vent the steam. The pressure is going to vent. So in order to avoid having this get sprayed all over my kitchen, I just put my hand over it. It's not too hot. If you want, you could hold a little, cup a little paper towel over it. But this needs to get really um, pureed down. And then the next thing that we add is three-fourths of a cup of cocoa. So I've already got that measured out. I'm just going to tap that in. You can get your own TV show soon. You're still <laughs> no, organized. TV show. <laughs> um, and then in here is my um, sea salt and my stevia. That's what makes it sweet because otherwise that cocoa is going to be a little bit bitter. bitter. Oh, and tell them about the salt, how um, it's not, you know, the special restaurant salt. Oh, okay. I have something put on top of the hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. I think I put that back in the pantry. So I'll totally go get that and show it to you. So, um, how many of you guys like to have like a little bit of chocolate on top of like a piece of fudge or something? We'll try it on our fudge today. So this um, salt I get from William Sonoma and it's delicious and it uh, breaks down really quick on your tongue so that it's it's what they use on all the fancy like salted caramel desserts so let's see how this is doing oh my gosh that yes, looks and smells it, delicious mm. so we're going <laughs> to blend it for just a little bit longer now while that's mixing up you want to get an eight by eight pan and put a liner in it either parchment paper this is freezer paper something so that your fudge doesn't stick and it's easy to get out of your pan. Gotta eat this. Mm. Now normally, I've made fudge for years. Normally it has Is there oil sweetened condensed milk, tons of sugar, the sugar that's in here is the natural sugar from the dates. So we're gonna see what the girls think, but we're gonna take this fudge and no, pour what, it in. When do we add the oil? We don't. Oh, Good we question, don't Carol. When okay. do we add the essential oil? We don't add the oil to the actual recipe. Okay. We're gonna show you what we do with that, but that's a great question. And it says that on the recipe card itself. Some oils you can add directly to food, others are going to be added indirectly through more of like an aromatherapy. Okay. So we spread this out. Now, the recipe said to use this in an eight by eight pan. This eight by eight pan might be a little bit bigger than like a standard one, but I would, if you want it thicker and I'll show you what it looks like, I would maybe make it in a smaller pan. 
So you stick that in the freezer for four hours. And, and this the, is just like on the Food Network show, or today with show. the magic of television. This <laughs> is the Helen YGY Club Network. <laughs> so you pull out your fudge, and what the recipe says is you want to put your oil on a paper towel. No. And you want that no. in here, not touching the food, but so that the um, aromatherapy of the oil can infuse oh, okay. your food that oh, way. Oh, that's a good idea. And then let me just show you how easily that fudge pops out of your pan. Wow, so you pop it out that. of your pan, you put it on your cutting board, you slice it into pieces, and then what I've done is I've put it in these little um, bite size. Oh my so girls, gosh. put some fudge on your plate. Thank you. That's Will awesome. you look at that? Now you do need to keep this fudge in the freezer so that it um Yes, it smells yummy too. <laughs> because otherwise it's gonna melt. But what mm -hmm. do you think? Mm -hmm. I mean it's There's not my a sugar next. condensed milk, four million calories kind of a fudge. So again, mm -hmm. let's just go over what the ingredients are. It's very rich. Water. Um, dates, organic butter, cocoa powder, salt, vanilla, stevia, and then the essence of Ylang Ylang essential mm -hmm. oil. And so mm -hmm. now, Carol, <laughs> wait, don't go to Carol yet. <laughs> She's eating piece of fudge. So hold on, you get to look at me one more minute. Oh, yeah. Um, Carol is going to tell us more about that. But Carol, while we let you get chocolate off of your teeth, Let's talk about the Aroma Share Club throughout the year. So we already told you that the item number is 67955. Whether you're a customer or a distributor, the wholesale price is always $50 and a great deal. So you can still get this month's Aroma Share Club until about the 27th. And then it's going to move into March, which is um, the theme for that is Smooth Moves. And it includes red mandarin and lavender chamomile and an additional sample. So you'll want to make sure that you get that added and you can see what the plan is for the whole year. I'll get this posted. So Carol, let's flip okay. over to Carol right. now and she can tell us a little bit more about this essential oil. Okay, so yes, so Elang Elang, and that's how Brenda says we're supposed to say it, Elang. So it's like, why is like a long E? Um, is also one of the oils known as for its aphrodisiac qualities. Again, it's tied into Valentine's Day. But it also is very beneficial and supportive of the heart. And this is January or February. I think this is heart month or maybe last month. Yeah, no. Oh, this is heart month. Okay, it is. And um, so it's, it, I think it's helpful with the rhythm of the heart. Um, and it also is, has some muscle relaxing um, properties, supportive of the muscle tissue. So it can be used um, and lavender or with just lavender in a lotion or some or with plant derived minerals to spray to, um, for your face. Um, it can be used um, on the bottom of the feet, um, you know, to support your heart or you can mist it in the room. Um, and it's I'm trying to think of here and it has it's also supposed to be very good for blood pressure. Again, so you could just breathe that in from the bottle or you could apply it or take a bath with it. Um, it's also a flowery I think it's a, you know, the flower of flowers oil. So it has a flowery scent. Oh, now where is that oil? The oh, oh, here it is, right yeah, here. Smell it. <laughs> so remember how you smell. You just hold it under and let it come to you. Right. Uh -huh. And Vicki asked about how you got the scent on the fudge, and I know you said you put it on oh, a paper towel. Yeah, so how many drops one. did you put on it? Yeah, so that's a great question, Vicki. Thank you. So the recipe actually tells me that I want to use two drops and I put it on the paper towel, put that in my bag, mm -hmm. and then put the fudge in there. So first, With that the fudge had to get hard, and then I cut it up. So after about four hours in the freezer, mm -hmm. I cut it up, and then I put this in here, and it just said, don't let the oil touch it. So you can see that my fudge is all on this plate, and my paper towel is down here, and then I've got it sealed up, put it back in the freezer, and now the essence of the oil is infusing the chocolate. So Thank great question, you. thanks. Thank mm -hmm. you. Did you have so. anything to add about the Elaine Ewing? No, I think it's, it's good for your heart. It's good for your love life. It's just a great <laughs> oil to have. So get the Aroma Share Club this month. Awesome. Okay, okay you guys, thanks so much for um, joining us for chocolate, roses, and wine. We hope that you um, mm. use our essential oils and, and all of the great products we have here at Longevity to enhance and improve your relationships throughout the month of February. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks so much. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye. Bye.